On now to KXAN News at 6 and first tonight, voting rights groups are suing Governor Greg Abbott for limiting counties to only one drop-off location for mail-in ballots. Travis County continues to see record demand for mail-in ballots with more than 72,000 requests. And making news tonight, KXAN political reporter John Engel investigates what one Republican state leader says factored into Governor Abbott's decision. It seems like the rules change. All of Travis County's mail-in ballot drop-off locations have been consolidated to the clerk's office on Airport Boulevard. Governor Greg Abbott said the decision was made to preserve election integrity, a concern the Travis County clerk says lacks evidence. Nothing. There is, there's no connection to the, the talk, the noise, about somehow that dropping off your ballot uh, was going to be particularly fraudulent. That's silly. In a statement, the governor's office said Abbott has not limited voting. Instead, he has expanded access to voting. Before the governor's executive order, Texans who wanted to vote by mail could either mail their ballot or submit it in person on Election Day only. Outgoing House Speaker Dennis Bonin said the decision to limit drop-off locations was made after reports of people showing up with multiple mail-in ballots. Uh, as many as uh, 40, I was told in one case. Um, and so the problem is, is when that individual was told he could only turn in one ballot that matched him, um, he threw those ballots on the ground and wandered away. Are you able to direct me to what county that was? I was told that was in Bear County. Bear County only had one drop-off location to begin with and wasn't impacted by the governor's proclamation. Election officials are required to reject multiple ballots delivered by one person. Peggy Parker, a 77-year-old cancer survivor from Pflugerville, planned to drop off her mail-in ballot, but says she will instead vote in person amid so many changes. John Engel, KXAN News. And remember, you are only able to drop off your own mail-in ballot to the county clerk. We reached out to the Bear County Elections Division to confirm Speaker Bonin's report, but we have not heard back.